Thank you for your interest in submitting an abstract to DDW 2015. This video will take you step by step to show you how to successfully submit an abstract for consideration. To begin, enter the following URL, https colon two forward slashes ddw2015.abstractcentral.com. You'll then enter your user ID and password. If you've forgotten your password, click on the Forgot Your Password link. You will also need to ensure that your pop-up blocker is disabled. If you are new to the site and this is your first time, click on the Create an Account to begin. If at any point you require technical assistance, you may click on the Help button in the upper right-hand corner. Again, if this is your first time visiting the submission site, you will need to create a new account. If you are returning to the site, you will need to update your information for DDW 2015. This includes your full financial disclosures. If this is your first time in the system, you will also need to create a profile. To begin your submission, click on the Submission tab in the top header. Click on the Create New Submission link on the left-hand side. If you would like to return to a submitted draft or a draft abstract, click on the View Submissions link. Then select the submission type. The submission rules are defined by Society and then Type. A confirmation box will appear. Continue with your submission selection or choose another type. Then enter the text for your abstract starting with the title and body. Do not include the author names or institutions within the title or body. You may copy and paste your text from a word processor software. You can also insert special characters or preview the text in this step. Then complete the remaining sections. An author may create or upload a combination of two tables or images. There is no character limit for tables. However, please note a table may be scaled down for publication layout. Select the appropriate presentation type. Then select the appropriate category and subcategory descriptor, which you would like to have your abstract considered for. Then review and check off the agreements associated with submitting an abstract for consideration to DDW. You may also indicate a preference, if the abstract is selected, to have your presentation not scheduled for Saturday. Click on the Save and Continue button. Your institution information should be pre-populated with your account information. You, however, will need to enter the information for all of your co-authors. To add a new author, click on the Add Author button. Search for our author in our database or add an author to your submission. Select their affiliation by clicking on the drop-down options. Again, their institution information should be associated with the account information we have in our system. Now you will review your abstract submission. To edit any of the sections, click on the Edit button next to the corresponding step. Click on the View Proof link to review your abstract or print for your records. In regards to disclosures, once your abstract is officially submitted, listed co-authors will receive an email prompting them to submit their disclosures. You may go back to any step to correct any errors. The abstract is not fully submitted or considered final until the submitter pays the non-refundable $60 abstract processing fee. Click on the Submit button to go to the Payment page. You may log in any time prior to the December 2nd deadline to return an abstract to draft to edit. However, you must fully submit the draft abstract again to be considered. You will not be charged a duplicate processing fee. Once payment has been submitted, you should receive an email confirmation verifying that your abstract has been successfully submitted. If you require any technical assistance, please contact Scholar One Custer Support at the following contact. If you have any DDW program questions, please email us at ddwprogram at gastro.org. Thank you for your interest in DDW 2015.